today, Precarious Plays... Samurai Legend Musashi. Gotta, I've got to, um, do at least, at least this, because I completely forgot about talking about it. And I have more to say about Conquest, where the gameplay is just much better mm-hmm. for me than Awakening. It's much more satisfying. Mm-hmm. In Awakening, because I, I, I'm, I'm susceptible to leveling up just like anybody else. Mm-hmm. It's fun watching the numbers go up. Yeah. Um, but it's not very stimulating. Right. It doesn't make my brain go, ooh, I did a thing. Mm-hmm. Um, Kerbal Space Program had a big update recently, and I'm playing it now. Um, and it is. There are new tutorials, which right. is the big deal. Mm-hmm. Probably, I think, like the biggest deal, other than like they. It's strange because the biggest things that they actually changed are like really under the hood type stuff, mm-hmm. and it's pretty easy to to not really think about it too much mm-hmm. because they like completely changed the engine. They're going. They they went from like Unity four to Unity five, I think. Yeah. So. Oftentimes, to start Kerbal Space Program, I would start turning it on and then go make a sandwich because unpacking all of the parts took such a long time and it took a really long time to boot up. Oh, yeah. And I got up to go do something like grab a glass of water and before I had gotten out of all the way out of my chair, it was ready to go. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's much more sleek. Difference. And Kerbal Space Program... The new tutorials are fantastic because despite having played it for 400 hours, I learned like four or five new things by the time I was done with all of them. Mm. Most critically, and I don't know why I never, I never like tried this. (laughs) Yeah. So for the entire time I played Kerbal Space Program, Standard launch procedure for me mm-hmm. was load up a rocket, take it out to the launch pad, mm-hmm. launch, and then oh, what would that be? Yaw, yaw to the right. That is how you that that for me for 400 hours of Kerbal Space Program. That is how I would start playing. Like, that is how every rocket launch would start. Mm -hmm. Was me going up to the necessary window and then yawing right. It's yaw right to space. That's Mm -hmm. how you get to space. Right. Because have I explained gravity turns to you before? Okay. Yes, you don't... All right. So, long story short, whenever you're on the equator, if you move with the rotation of the planet, uh, you basically get a, a free speed boost. That yes. is, like, the fastest way to describe that shit. Mm-hmm. If, whenever you're building a rocket, you just rotate it. <laughs> you can just rotate it so the underside is pointed towards the east. <laughs> to the equator? Just, yeah, so... So that it's pointed in the right direction to start with. And then you can just pitch down, which would probably much be much more comfortable, I imagine, for the last few moments whenever you're 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 running from the gravity of the planet you're trying to escape. There's a joke about being a rocket scientist in here. <laughs> Just shut up, okay? <laughs> I learned a new thing, and now my my astronauts would be will be marginally more comfortable, I'm sure. Well, let me tell you, it's always good to be learning. Yeah. Yeah, even if you have to be kind of silly and. Not a rocket scientist first. You have to think every every rocket scientist started out as not a rocket scientist. Well, it's just fucking thinking. Four hundred hours though. Thinking to rotate the damned rocket <laughs> so it's pointing in the direction you need to go a little more naturally, a little more organically, a little more sensically is not exactly rocket science. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure you can calculate delta v now, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can I can calculate delta delta v. I can I can uh, I can tell you the procedure necessary to go from an orbit around the moon, around uh, a moon, back to its parent planet. Yeah, 
Well, you know I that. I can do all of that stuff. And I just, I mean, it was just, it was the way I learned and it just became so natural. And it doesn't really like change much because it, my, I, I, I wasn't, it's not like, it's not like I was trying to like use a vertical launch uh, space plane or anything. You know, the rockets yeah. were radially, ra they were radially, radi radially, excuse me, they were radially symmetrical when viewed from above. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it's not a big fucking deal. It was just, it just, it just imagine being in that situation where you could either drive to work fucking normally, or you could drive to work leaning over from the passenger seat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing that tomorrow. 